fucking pathetic. So just when you thought that Karens were finally going back into the cold, decrepit void that they crawled out of, another one strikes again. So Charlie talked about this yesterday, and then today media outlets all over and other YouTube channels have been talking about this story today, and I figured since I'm your bitch or guinea pig or whatever you want to call me, I'd look into the story and give all of you my terrible opinions that don't really matter. So let me summarize the situation really quickly. For those of you who don't have the intention span of a horse with no legs, two women were in Victoria's Secret recently, doing what women typically do at a lingerie store, or linguine store if you're dyslexic, buying girl products. And for some unknown reason, the one blonde girl, we'll call her Karen, swung at the other woman, minding her own business. The woman minding her own business started recording Karen for her own safety, which is really smart. The girl who was filming was the victim, in my opinion. She goes by Ijoma, I think that's how you say that. She filmed the Karen swinging on her, and when Karen realized that she was being recorded, she started acting like a baby, crying and screaming and shitting and pissing in the store. Not literally shitting and pissing, but you know what I mean. Like, like a sad little bitch. She threw a temper tantrum because she was caught red-handed being a child. I have never seen a grown-ass woman throw such a hissy fit for absolutely no reason. Like, it's sad. It's really sad. You should've thought about that before you did what you did. I, don't charge me. Oh, you wanna? Oh, yeah, she. So the Karen denied that she tried to hit the woman, and then she kept screaming, "Stop filming me! Stop filming me!" And Ijoma continued to state that she was recording for her own safety. And once again, I'm on her side. She did the right thing. Like, you don't know this woman is going to pull some sketchy shit or not. She might rip her tit off and claim that Ijoma maliciously ripped her boob apart or some shit like that. Get the Get the Look at this. Yes, can y'all get, get her away from me? Get her away from me. Oh, have mercy. Get her away from me. Lord have mercy indeed, holy shit. The Karen eventually went after the woman telling her to get away, and um, it just further proves that this woman is stupid. Like, how the hell is Ijoma gonna get away from Karen if Karen is chasing her? Yeah, that's a big brain question. No, why don't she walk away from me? No, I was here, no, 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 we're not doing this. So the clip I just showed you shows a girl at the register telling Ijoma to go away, which is fucking stupid. I'm sorry, but you're gonna tell the woman minding her own damn business to go away? Hey, girl at the register, why don't you mind your own business? And why don't the workers just kick the crazy lunatic out of the store? The workers at Victoria's Secret called security, which is nice, don't get me wrong. But from what I read, security did jack shit. Honestly, they should have just kicked the Karen out of the mall and fined her for performing an exorcism in the Victoria's Secret. She's me. Don't tell me that isn't an exorcism. It looks just like one. So after many video updates provided by Ijoma later, both of them, both the Karen and Ijoma, ended up at the police station filing reports, and the Karen stated in her report that she had a panic attack during the recording because she was concerned that if the video surfaced online, that she would lose her job and her apartment. Which, alright, I get that, don't get me wrong, but why the fuck would you swing on Ijoma? See, there's something we aren't fully understanding here, and let me explain something to all of you. If you have a panic attack and faint in public, the first thing your body doesn't do is protect you from fall damage. The woman purposely collapsed in public, landing safely on her purse. It was super dramatic and a bunch of bullshit. Look at the way she falls. Fucking pathetic. I also have anxiety, and I'm not trying to turn this video into an oh, feel sorry for me type of thing, but in the event that I have a panic attack in public or something, I try to get away from people and get into my car as quick as possible and get the fuck out of there. Like, if I'm in a store and I feel off, I get out. I don't want to make a scene or have people looking at me. I don't attack people. I don't break down in front of everybody. I'm not going to say that everyone reacts the same way, but I'm pretty sure that most people with anxiety just bail as soon as possible to get away from people so they don't embarrass themselves. This woman, I feel, is just using the term panic attack as an excuse to get out of the drama because nobody who has anxiety wants to draw more attention to themselves like that. I'm not a mental expert, so don't get on my ass, but that's just how I behave and how I believe most people with anxiety behave if they go through that situation. Do I think that this Karen is full of shit? Mostly yes. Maybe she's got something going on. I, I, obviously, she, there's something fucking going on in her brain. Look at the way she's acting in this video. The way she behaved in this store in front of all those people was so un unnecessary. It was embarrassing to watch. I'm just gonna come out and say justice for Ijoma. She did nothing wrong. 
she was calm in the video and recorded for her safety and that was it. I am going to say that I have no idea why the Karen even attacked Ijoma in the first place so there's something we aren't fully getting here. There's definitely more to this story but the way that it stands right now I think Ijoma is the victim and I think this lady the Karen is crazy. In other unfortunate news TikTok took down Ijoma's videos of her filming the Karen but for some reason they're letting other people repost those videos and those accounts aren't being taken down so you know I just think this is absolutely mind-boggling. Like seriously fuck TikTok for that stunt. Give this woman some justice let her post the videos on TikTok. Or if you're gonna take her videos down treat everybody equally on your platform and take down the reposted videos from other accounts. I'm very happy to see that most people online are coming to the defense of Ijoma which is fantastic. Even fucking Tayson Day commented on her YouTube. Look bro I, what's up I haven't seen you since 2009. Anyway my closing thoughts are that that Karen needs a mental evaluation and that Ijoma needs some justice. That's all I got. If you enjoyed my terrible take on the situation involving the Victoria's Secret Karen, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon, follow me on all of my social links, and join my Zesty Discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, having a temper tantrum in the middle of a store is not how you behave in public.